Hello and welcome to Savannah's Otoscope tutorial. This is my subject, Brienne. First thing you want to do is select your nozzle size. I picked the medium one because she's little, but it's still going to fit snugly in her ear without hurting her. I put it on there, click, click it into place, then you're going to turn on the light, make sure that it's on and it's in a circle, good to go. Next, you're going to have your patient look forward, and you're going to have to be very gentle with this because you don't want to stab them in the tympanic membrane, because that would be bad. All right, I'm going to lift upwards and outwards on the pinna and insert the otoscope into her ear. Without putting it any farther, I want to like look inside of her ear to make sure that I'm not inserting blindly. And, oh, wow. What a clean ear. I'm looking at the tympanic membrane right now and it is an opaque color, which means that it's normal. And she barely has any earwax in there at all, which is also very normal. What I'd be looking for is a ruptured tympanic membrane, liquid behind it, or redness to suggest an infection, which we would then deal with. I'm gonna clean this off, make sure the light's off, and put it away. Thank you. 